Welcome, passengers, to Train Sim World 4. The newest dovetail game, the newest iteration of it, Train Sim World 4. And we're going to be having a go on this on our PC. I've used it on Xbox. It is in beta mode on the Xbox, so I can't show that. But this is an early access preview version on the PC. So I'm able to show you all. Big thanks to Dovetail for providing us with the free game key and the early, early access. Because today we're going to be having a little look because of timings. I've got a lot of stuff going on at home, family wise and other things like that. So we're going to have a good look. If you do want some more intensive looks, go and check out other ambassadors or check out Dovetail's own videos. But we have got three brand spanking new routes. The Antelope Valley with the EMD F125 Metrolink and the Rotom cab car. We've got the S-Bahn Vorlberg with the uh, Talent 1, the 185 and the Vectron. <laughs> We've got East Coast Mainline with the 801, the Flying Scotsman and the 66. And finally, Neverka Dresden has our Todd 4 updates, except the snow. And we have the usual stuff in here, also with the Vectron. But we are going to be having a look at the East Coast Mainline. That's what we want to have a look at today. And we want to get this Doncaster to Grantham. And the reason why we got Doncaster to Grantham was because... You guys all watched my video yesterday when I took a tour around Donny. I just wanted to compare just a little bit. See what it looks like in comparison to the real thing. Now let's get started. Before we get going, let's come over here. And oh, there we go. So on, 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 on. There we go. We then stick that on. Stick it into neutral. Oh, that. WS and AWS are operational. Whilst we're waiting for that, here is platform one, which we arrived in on the Azuma to King's Cross. Um, and that was Monday, that was. So here's this bridge over here that only 10 people can go up on because it's so old. Uh, we actually had a look at it here, didn't we? We saw the sign right there. We've got a 66 there, no 91 sitting over there. That would have been nice, but... We then go over here and we've got uh, the vending machines. There's no Costa here, though. This is where the waiting room is, and here is Liquid Bean Cafe. And have a look. The Danny Special Unfiltered Ginger Ale, French Broad broad Chocolate, sorry, Broad, Broad, Aeropress, you know, there's some good stuff there. LNR Reserve a seat. There's the waiting area. And then if we come over here, I did say that we have French Gate. They can't call it French Gate, so they've called it French Fence. <laughs> and the Debenhams logo would be there as well. So. Let's get this uh, train on the road. And we're going non-stop. That sounds decent, doesn't it? Now we don't get the clunk. At this speed, we should be getting the of the doors like sealing shut. We're not getting that. Now what 
What one have we got? Two, three, four. Did I see that one yesterday or the day before on the videos? I don't think I have. We did do that, didn't we? Yep. Dim those lights. Now, this is another thing I really like on here. Uh, let's just break. Pause. Go over to the photo mode. There is the class 66. And look, watch this. So I can change the focal point here. There we go. We've got rotation. We've also got the field of view as well. Let's go out a little bit. See a little bit. Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? That's not what I wanted. There we go. Go and then we can hide that. We can take a shot there and look at that. That looks pretty epic, doesn't it? And don't forget, we've also got exposure here if you really want to mess with that. Saturation, vignette, <laughs> bright. Sorry, I gotta say it. And then you literally just go straight back into it. Right, let's go. And then back there is where I usually would go to head towards Sheffield and Derby. So yeah, hopefully yesterday's videos really helped you guys. Um, yesterday and the day before, full walkthrough of the LNER Azuma. Checking out the TE as well. And then also a little tour around Donny. Funnily enough, when this video is out, I should be on another Azuma. Because I'm going up to York on Thursday, or today, for you. Um... And yeah, so I'll be on another... I've got the Voyager going up to York, but then on the way back I've got an Azuma from York to Donny. And then Northern from Donny to Sheffield. And then Cross Country from Sheffield to uh, home. I could have gone a direct route for the same price, but no, I wanted to go on the Azuma again. And why not? Why not? Now look at that. Is a 66. Now, what I am doing is I'm trying to use the speedometer without having the HUD on, which is usually on the bottom right. So, up on the top, you've got the 125 mile an hour there, and if you get slightly over, it then goes yellow. When you go fully over, it goes red. Ooh, freight train. That's cool. A double yellow there. Got a double yellow. Can't see anyone. Yeah, that got a green now. Okay, so this is where we're going 122, 123 miles an hour. So if you notice, when we hit 125, we're then going to go yellow. What's really cool, on the top right, it tells us the next signal. So this is like the next one and a quarter miles away. There we go. We've hit the uh, 125, so let's slow down. We've now gone green. Yeah, such a good train. Much more comfy at home, though. So, yeah, we're going to London King's Cross.
So yeah, we've got green signals the whole way at the moment, so that's good. Yeah, just looking at the GSMR there. Contact signaler. We've got the diesel engine here. Remember, this is a um, an emergency diesel engine. There we go. Oh, matching the Mallard. We're going 126, so let's just start slowing down a bit. There we go. Um, yeah, the emergency diesel engine, there's only one on the train. Oh. Should be going a lot slower. I've actually not got the um, speed restrictions up. So I should have learned from that mistake. Um, but yeah, so... I got good word from uh, an official trade driver in the art on Monday. Um, I was having a quick chat with him about it, and he said, "Did you know that the emergency diesel engine goes up to 60 miles an hour downhill?" <laughs> oh yeah, you would have heard me say it on the video a couple of days ago. Ignore me. I do have the speed limits on. I just wasn't looking. Yeah, 125 now. And there it is. Start again a bit faster again. Looking forward to seeing how the uh, controller for the PlayStation 5 reacts with this. Hey up, Johnny! Um, because uh, I've got an Xbox controller plugged into my PC. I get the vibrations through it, but it has like additional vibration, hopefully, in the PlayStation controller. Plus... You've got the lights, so it will give you the upcoming signal, which I am really looking forward to seeing. And the horn is very loud on the Azuma. where freight would usually be able to come off and stop and wait for me to uh, go past for them. Um, also found out that the Azumas do not tilt. I know they don't, but we went past a little corner and it was a bit of a uh, jolt, bit of a jolt when we went through it. So it's a shame they haven't got a bit of a tilt like the Pendolinos. All the 221 Super Voyagers of Avanti, not the cross-country ones, because they switched the uh, tilting off. Yeah, you've probably seen my previous videos where, you know, we went from Newark Northgate to Newcastle, so we did go on a bit of the East Coast Main Line that is in the game. But it's very rare that I go down there, you know, I'm in Derby, so I'd go over like Doncaster's probably my first entry that a train would usually take me, which is the very top of East Coast Main Line. Bye. 
One thing that I'm a little annoyed about is the B on the keyboard isn't linked to the signal or anything. The buzzer for the uh, the guard, the train manager. So I'm not sure why. go so here is Retford nice so how we uh, zoom and uh, zoom and through <laughs> I am looking to see looking forward to seeing the layers on this and funnily enough, I've not had a look on the Xbox with the layers. Um, just because, as I said, stuff has gone on. A lot of things have happened. Um, so, it's, yeah, it's just trying to fit everything in. So, like, yesterday I was in Newcastle. Today I've got a day off. I'm doing other stuff. Tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm in Sheffield. Thursday, I'm in York. I mean, Chester next week. You know, I've still got to work to, you know, bring the food and the money to the table, you know, for the family. It's a shame I miss the... Uh, oh, speed. It's a shame I miss the uh, HST. That was one thing that I do miss, but... I got to see it a couple of weeks ago. I've not, um, I've not, not publicised that video yet. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Why have I got that? On? Just thought. Why have I got objective marker, stop marker, scenario marker? See that I've got these on, that's all good. Active show score, it's score. There we go. That's better. I feel better now. Yeah, we literally go to Grantham platform one. Oh, speeding again. We do get a bit of a tilt, but that's just through the track alone. It's not got it inbuilt into the train itself. go we got the one two five again so we get to speed up yeah i've had a go on the american route that is pretty good i will be doing some videos soon on that um might not be doing too much much else on this i might just do a video after not a video after this uh, maybe a video after this yeah a video after this just a little bit of a look at the flying scotsman um 
but that's probably as much time as I'm able to get today. But as soon as I'm able to get back on, I'll be definitely doing some more content. Because that American route is lovely. For the bit that I've done so far, it is lovely. Level crossing. To the cars. Are they going to go up? They're a bit silent, aren't they? There they go. Here he goes. Nice. Right. Back to it. Got a yellow signal coming up again. A double yellow. It's probably to do with the level crossings that we've got. level crossing okay oh we are getting greens again So there's the crossover. So you want to get that in a photo opportunity. Bit of a turn, bit of a turn, and then we'll go over it. Here it comes. Come in a sec. Is that last corner before we then go over the crossing? There's a little signal box. Oh, it's one last little corner. <laughs> the anticipation. <gasps> Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Hey up, Mega Big Al. Yeah. 
is the bridge. Oh, there's the uh, speed restriction. There. Okay. And here is the crossing. Oh, I think that's uh, I think that's a good shot there. I love that. That looks amazing. Look at that. Now, the track itself isn't exactly like it should be. Um, I believe that's been computerized and they won't be able to like manually edit it, but it isn't exactly like how it should be. Oh, not that way. That one. So that's one little annoying thing is it's not perfect, but it's still a good version of it. Here comes, uh, Lincoln? No! Why am I saying Lincoln? Newark Northgate. Why did I say Lincoln? Right, we can go back up to uh, 125 now. This is Newark Northgate. We're not too far away from Grantham now. So we've got some yellow signals coming up. So yeah, pretty straight. And then yeah. Well to get there. Still, you know, a few miles, a few miles to go. Now, funnily enough, the Azuma isn't as comfy as a Voyager or a Meridian, which is stupid, but I had it when I was on it on Monday. I'm probably going to have it Thursday when I'm on it again. Still got a little bit of uh, time to go. Because that's the thing. I've not got how many miles till we get there. That grey thing on the top left will go orange when it hits like a thousand yards. And that's going to be too late to break. So I've got to make sure I get it right.
There I am. E up. Almost there. That is a nice horn, though. Just never, ever, ever touch the horn on the Talon One. Oh, no. Please don't. Ah! It's awful. Right, let's start slowing down to 115. No, that's not 115. That's 105. There it is. Okay. Let's start slowing down, guys. Now I'm going to admit, I thought I was going to really enjoy East Coast Mainline, which I do. But for the bits that I've done on the Antelope Valley, that one is really good. I've not had a good go on the Austrian route yet, I will admit. I've not actually been on the Vectron yet either. Very surprising, because I've had it for... Well, I've had it a couple of weeks now, tops, on the Xbox, but I really can't, you know, really haven't had time, I will admit, just with other things going on. But I will be having a go on the Vectron when I can, but that Antelope Valley is going to be a good one. Um, I only did a little bit of the route. But what I saw there so far was pretty intense and pretty amazing. I think Dovetail have done, you know, a good job. There we go. I think I slowed down too early. No, oh, I should be all right. I know I was a bit grumbly when I heard that the 801 was used instead of the 800, but the majority of the fleet for LNER is 801, but it's just annoying because the 800 would have been nice to uh, utilise on GWR and things like that, because the 800 has the full electric and diesel set, whereas the 801, this one, is m electric, but then a bit of, teeny tiny bit of diesel for the emergency um, diesel engines. Hey. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this just wanted to have a run on the Azuma. I'm going to do another video. I am going to separate it and I'm going to do a bit of the uh, Flying Scotsman. Have a go on that. E up. There's the 100 speed limit. Yeah, we're coming in now. I'm going to Grantham.
Here we go, platform number one. Thank you, Dovetail, for providing us with the free game key. And thank you guys all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Mega Sim. Social media links are in the description below. That's a good place to stop. These doors, they neutral. Shut that up. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what I really like. Look at this. Oh, no. It's going to uh, do that. Cool. Oh, wow. Speeding. Minus 422. I got a platinum, though. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right. So let's return to free roam. This is what I like. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Second man desk. Right. So. I want to walk through here. This is the kitchen for first class. Are we moving? No, we're not. It's fine. Then. Here's first class. Welcome to first class. So this is where I sat when I was in first class a couple of months ago, or a few weeks ago. Welcome aboard the LNER Azuma to London King's Cross. We will call at Stevenage and London King's Cross. We went in these toilets in uh, the video a couple of days ago. Here we go. Still in first class. Let's come out of first class and go into cattle class. There's the delivery service. Let's eat at your seat. We're only going to go as far as the... Um, what's it called? The snack. The trolley. Oh, this is the quieter coach. Whoop, whoop. No, I'm joking. I'm sorry. Here it is. Let's go and eat. And it's closed. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's correct, because I saw that yesterday myself. And the menu is there. And there's the door. And he got me a lovely cup of tea as I then sat down here. Uh, there. Let's see. Look how similar that is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim out of here. See you soon, guys. Bye.